What's up Wix Nation, MPS here from Wix Training Academy and today I'm bringing you a very special video. Number one, it's my first video in our brand new office here in St. Charles, Missouri. And number two, I'm teaching you guys how to utilize repeaters and Corvid by Wix today, which is exciting stuff because you can create phenomenal tools and functionality on your website. But first, before we dive into that, if you're brand new to this Wix Training Academy channel and you're not part of Wix Nation yet, our entire community, make sure you click that subscribe button right down below and turn those bell notifications on so you never miss any content or community engagement here on the channel. Next, if you haven't already, head over to wixtrainingacademy.com. You can sign up and get free access to a whole bunch of Wix content or if you'd rather save the time, the stress, and the frustration, you can hire our team directly by simply clicking work with us or scroll to the bottom of the homepage and submit your project. But without further ado, let's dive into today's video, which is how to create repeaters using Corvid by Wix. So it's very easy how we go about doing this, all right? So first and foremost, you have to get into the editor. Once you're in the editor, what you have to do is you have to hover over dev mode, and then you're going to see enable Corvid. You'll click enable Corvid, and then all the Corvid tools will start to go ahead and manifest themselves. And now we see the site structure on the left, our page code manager down the bottom, and our properties panel right over here to the right. Today, what we're going to be utilizing is really none of those, okay? Um, I could X the properties panel out because I'm just showing you how to add repeaters. But what we are going to go to is one, you can come down here to data and you can see this is where your data will be. So typically when you utilize repeaters, you're displaying data results that are showing from the database. It's a repeater because it keeps a formulated design across each piece of those results. And what I mean by that is a repeater is one standard design but dynamic data in each result or each set. And essentially what that means is the data changes, but the design doesn't. Okay, so we can see this is kind of where our data elements are. But we're not going to be in that today. What we're going to do is we're going to go to add. And then we're going to go down to... And then we're going to go down to lists and grids. And you're going to see right here, repeaters is the number one option after you hover on that list and grids over here by the ad. When you get in here, you'll notice a whole bunch of different repeater designs you can choose from. Now, what's great about Wix is that although these are the pre-made designs that they provide as far as repeater templates, you can change these designs as much as you want. You can change colors, you could change fonts, you could change the lines, you can change you know, the boldness, the buttons, all of that can be changed very easily. So I'm just going to go ahead and select one for the heck of it so we can use it for today's example. So you'll see I selected this one. We've got a couple cats down here, which is always really cool, right? Um, but we're going to go ahead and drag this down below here on the home page so you can kind of see what we're doing. Okay, so we've got our repeater in here. So yes, it's that simple to actually physically add a repeater. So number one, hopefully that answered that question for a lot of you watching this video. But number two, the question is, how do you alter the repeater? How do you change the design? And how do you make the data change? Well, that's what we're gonna dive into right now. So now that you have the repeater here, all of the elements in here are able to be changed. So if you wanted to come up here and you wanted to change the font to maybe Mueso Slab, you can do that. Maybe you want to bold that Mueso Slab, and there you go. So now you'll notice not only did it change in this top repeater item, but it changed across all of the repeater items. Why? Because it's a repeater. So whatever happens in this top initial repeater is going to be uniform across every result under it or every item as the repeater likes to say where you can see manage items so you could come in here you could change the size of pictures and it'll change across all of them you can change the button color you could come in here and maybe you want a different button color maybe you want this one right here that's totally up to you but maybe you don't like that one anymore so you could click that undo button and um 
and then sorry it's in a repeater so that undo is not going to happen um you could come back in here to button if you wanted and then you can change it back up to something else maybe you want this button right so you have the ability to come in here and change the different elements now when it comes to actually managing the data um, in order for that to happen you one have to already have a database set up Two, you have to have a data set on the page. So in this video, I'm not going to show you displaying repeater results. I wanted to show you how to add a repeater and then alter the repeater's design. But if you did get a data set added onto this page, you would come up here and you would connect to data. And essentially what you would do is you would come in here to each individual piece of data uh, and change it to connected pieces of data in the database. We don't have a database set up right now, but maybe right here is the name of the cat, right? And then you'll have that connect to the cat name field in your database. I'm going to create a separate video tutorial on how to do that exactly, but I wanted to show you that you can alter all of the pieces of content in this repeater to change it and modify it exactly how you want. So just because you get a custom template from Wix pre-created as a repeater doesn't mean you have to utilize that design. And it's that simple on how to add a repeater here in Corvid by Wix. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. If this video helped you out, drop a like down below. That helps the community determine whether this video is viable and helpful. Uh, and don't forget to comment if you have any questions whatsoever. Last but not least, if you're not part of Wix Nation yet, we would love to have you in the community. Click that subscribe button and turn those bell notifications on so you don't miss any Wix training tutorials here at the Wix Training Academy. I appreciate you guys tuning in to today's video. And if you saw this and you determined, you know what, I want to save the time, I want to save the stress, I want to save the frustration of trying to get this built out myself, and you'd rather have a web development team do this for you, we are a team of Wix partners and Wix design experts, and we specialize in Corvid development. And you could head over to wixtrainingacademy.com, link in the description below, and fill out a project submission form, and we will be back in touch with you lickety split. So that is it for today's content. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.